guys, it's Vasi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm very happy to see you here. And on today's video, I want to bring back my excitement for breakfast because I remember the time when I was little, I was so freaking excited for breakfast that I couldn't even sleep the night before because I was thinking what I'll be having for breakfast. And I miss those beautiful times, I want to bring them back into my life. So in today's video, we'll be trying out five different breakfasts from five different countries and the countries that we chose and actually you chose guys on Instagram were UK, Israel, US, Japan and Spain and I will be cooking and preparing at home. I just realized I fucked it up. Pinch of salt. Oh my god, it's all in lumps. Pancakes time! Yay! Pancake! Oh, damn. <gasps> wow! If you like this video and you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe because now I'm also doing a giveaway. So as soon as I reach 500 subscribers, I will be giving away this beautiful box full of amazing treats from Greece and Italy that I especially picked for you. All the details will be linked in the description down below. And now let's get into cooking. So for the first day, I decided to do a breakfast from the UK and you might be thinking English breakfast, but you're wrong. Today we're going for a classic porridge. I'm a little bit nervous about it, even though I have made porridge so many times, but judging by the consistency, something is telling me that I was doing it all wrong. Oats and after that, a little bit of salt, sugar and cinnamon. 30 grams of oats. After that, we need three times more water. For the original recipe, we should also put a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. And guys, if you're from the UK, feel free to tell me if I'm doing something wrong because most probably I am. Easy peasy. This is ready. I added a little bit of frozen berries, a little bit of sugar, cinnamon. When I tried it before, I could really feel the salt. Pinch of salt. Still tasty. Welcome to day two. Today I will be taking you to Israel and we are making a typical breakfast for them which is called shakshuka. It's kind of this mixture of tomatoes, bell pepper and lots of eggs on top. I feel kind of weird how I'll be having like bell peppers with tomatoes and coffee at the same time but doesn't matter. Let's open my perspective a little bit. Because if you have friends from these countries, don't forget to send them this video so you can both laugh together with me and you can have like a nice bonding session laughing at me. So of course eggs, two to six eggs, tomatoes, lots of spices, bell pepper and I'm still missing onion. Guys, the actual recipes will be linked in the description down below. Let's pretend that I'm Gordon Ramsay and I'm super good at chopping things, but I'm not. Bane came back with lots of parsley. Does it happen also to you? I really can handle onion. We add it to the pan together with the garlic and the bell pepper. Yay! Ooh, looking good. And also, guys, you're not participating in my giveaway, so you look how sad. I'm not taking it very well. <laughs> you can win my Italian. Oh, here it is. Here it is. There we go. This thing. It's time to add our spices. Salt. Oh, wow. Cumin. Okay. So very generous with the cumin. Paprika. Paprika. What's Curcuma. That? Curcuma. Peeled whole tomatoes. Oh, our yes. eggs. One. Oops, dropped it! Ah! Ooh, I like Last final touches. Aurelian breakfast. Okay, but let's eat now. I'm hungry. I find it a bit weird how we're gonna have this for breakfast. And this is let's shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Shake it off! I like it. I find it I still find it weird to have this for breakfast. How would you rate it from 1 to 10? I would give it that 8.5 slash 9. Really? Like Positano, yeah. For me it's a 7. Ooh. Because I One. like it, mm -hmm. but I can't imagine eating this for breakfast. It's our third day and today we're going to the US and I'll be making American pancakes. Pancakes time! Pancakes time! Yay! 
pancake sorry i don't know what was that it was just too much of an excitement for today's pancakes and here we have our ingredients one egg flour baking powder baking soda soy milk i actually don't have butter so i'll be using olive oil instead and i actually have this problem i told you i buy so many cute useless things like this cup from Sorrento look at it but they don't have a bowl where to mix them so I'll be mixing them here to mix the flour dry ingredients so I have to whisk them all together oh my god it's all in lumps I'm really not sure if this was supposed to be the effect <laughs> no 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 hopefully it's supposed to be so bubbly I have divided the egg white and the egg yolk and according to the recipe I need 55 grams of butter added almost all of it, maybe like 10 grams less look at that I just realized I fucked it up I was supposed to make the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients so now they said, oh yeah, mix them together what should I mix? everything is already together let it rest for 15 to 30 minutes and this is the first Pancake. All these bubbles. Oh, damn. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> I think you have to eat them at the same time, no? To yeah, be honest, try. I love it. It was so good. Delicious. 10 out of 10. What about you? 9 out of 10. Well, I feel like I feel a bit heavy. Mm -hmm. I think breakfast should, should wake you up, should be tasty, not too heavy, but make you feel full and very interesting yeah. good morning guys today we're going to japan don't mind me i'm just like freezing in london because it's already like 15 degrees or maybe less so here are all the products that we'll be using we'll have a uh, steamed rice with salmon and after that miso soup for which i also got extra tofu and this this soy drink that i really hope that they actually drink it in japan and most importantly are you team sweet or team savory for breakfast i'm definitely a sweet tooth and they have my salmon here in the meantime i want to start preparing the miso soup and i also got extra tofu no guys it broke look at that this might be a little bit too much tofu for a single portion but but I like tofu and that's our super tofu-y miso soup and we are having rice with salmon and miso salmon. soup which is a typical breakfast in uh, Japan we're in Japan in all Japan it wow it's really good y you like it? Mm. I think this is the biggest breakfast that we have had so far yeah. and the one which has the most components the highest variety review of our Japanese breakfast I liked it, I finished everything as you can see also the plates um, I think it was really a nice interesting mix of the miso soup, the rice and the salmon wow. if I have to rate this as a breakfast I think I'm just not used to it so I would have to go with like 9 I'm also giving it a 9 uh, I'm not used to it but it was delicious and to be honest I'm not feeling as full as I thought I would be it's our last day from this amazing delicious challenge and today we're going to Spain these are all the ingredients that we'll need salt olive oil garlic tomatoes bread and some prosciutto of course it's better if you don't buy italian prosciutto and you get the spanish but this is what we got and to be honest with you it's actually better if you have the bigger tomatoes instead of this ones but this is what i got so i have to work with it i did like half of the tomatoes but i don't think i'm gonna be doing more because i feel like i aged with 10 years in the meantime so i'm adding a pinch of salt olive oil and after that you have to rub the garlic welcome to our spanish breakfast and our last one i'm afraid yes i can't wait to dive into this toast it's very tomatoey and as i said it took me a lot of time to make it okay. cheers cheers mm, very fresh mm, no it's fresh thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and join my giveaway love you loads bye i think i would give it a um, nine out of ten fresh ingredients easy cheap good i like it i would also like to give it a nine this is more like an everyday thing you know i like it definitely good.